We interrupt this program for an important... Yow! My PS4 controller got wet. What do I do? That depends on the circumstances. If you got mad enough to chuck it in a pool, it is probably too far gone to rescue. It is not that wet. Try turning it on, as long as it isn't still sitting in the bottom of the bathtub or pool. Do not plug in electronics that are wet enough to convey the electricity to you, or you're in for quite a shock. I'm trying to figure out how it got wet. Someone got mad and threw a coke at the screen or decided to mess with you and pour a drink on top of it. The rest of the console area is not wet. Maybe it was freezing up because it was getting too hot, so someone decided to put ice cubes on top of it to cool it down. A fan would be better. It would certainly be less likely to short it out. Another possibility is that someone connected a fan and humidifier to blow cool wet air on it and the moisture condensed on the device. What's the solution if that's the case? If you can, open the case and let it dry out. Manually dry off the outside of the unit in any case. I'd like something short of blowing a hair dryer on it, since that could overheat the unit. Then turn it off before you blow hot air on it, so you do not overheat things. And you reduce the risk of getting shocked while trying to dry it, short of the cost of getting it fixed. Piece of cake. Actually, you could soak it in a bag of rice to suck up the liquid. That's a cheap, readily available form of desiccant. I'd rather just put the little packets of desiccant from the shoe boxes and packaging I have. Just do not open the desiccant packs and let the little granules out, or you'll risk shorting stuff out that way. How can I tell if that works? If you turn it on and it is not giving you red lights as a warning to stop doing anything, I wonder if the type of liquid makes a difference. If it is water, it dries and recovers as long as nothing shorted out while wet. Conversely, the sticky residue left behind by soda is still electrically conductive and can continue to short things out. Which means I'm at risk of having an expensive brick. The power brick might short out, but it may simply be connectors and circuit paths. But unlike your sofa, you cannot wash it off to fix it. What do I do after I've dried it out? Reset it by powering off and back on to see if it comes on. If not, you probably do have an expensive brick.